Next up, we're going to look at this synth line that uh, the player's in at the intro. Okay, so I'm using these two synths. They're both uh, ES2s. Using the preset crunchy saw, that'll get you pretty close. Uh, just importantly, I want it to be monophonic. I only want it to be able to play one note at a time. And I've introduced a little bit of glide, only a short bit, just to give that kind of whipping up to each note. You'll hear the difference. Okay, so I'll take it off. If you make it. Okay, so somewhere in the middle. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I had to transcribe that melody, obviously, from the song. And to help me do that, I turned on flex mode for the guide track. So this is this is Avicii's track. Choose polyphonic mode because there's many different instruments happening at the same time. And once flex mode is turned on and that's beat match properly, which you did in the first tutorial, <clears throat> you'll be able to change you'll be able to change the tempo, and the track will slow down accordingly. Okay, and that just helped me hear those individual notes. So I've drawn it out uh, as MIDI notes here in a MIDI clip, in MIDI region, sorry. And <laughs> yeah, that, that, that kind of stuff can take a while. But uh, it's pretty basic that the synth is just a saw synth. And I've got a separate one here to help out with the lower notes. Since, um, since the first one was monophonic, I need a second. It can only play one note at a time. So I need a second one to play those lower notes. But they're the same. I've mixed the lower ones. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the lower ones slightly lower uh, in volume as well. And I've added a bit of reverb to the two of them. So I've, uh, I've put it on a reverb bus. So by choosing bus one from the sounds menu. Uh, that will create a new auxiliary track. I've put a space designer on that track, which is the preset uh, 4.4 Dream Hall with a channel EQ before that, just taking out the low end and boosting the high end so we get a nice bright glittery reverb. I mean, you can spend more time looking through those space designer presets if you like to find a more suitable reverb, but I just, I would want to do this quick and dirty and then just use the channel EQ to take out the low end.